Okay, y'all, so this is me cleaning the exterior walls of my balcony. They were so, so dirty. Um, so it took me a couple of days to do this. I had to do several coats and I broke my light, <laughs> as you can see. So the first day that I did this, I was not recording. Um, but because I'm not able to power wash because I'm in an apartment, I had I wasn't able to like rinse it. I didn't have the power of a um, hose to help me out. So it was so dirty that I had to do this for several days. I had to break up the dirt the first day, rinse that off, let it dry, and then come back and just keep doing it over and over again until it was clean. But I got it clean, so we're going to do the floor or the ground next. So now I'm just showing you all what the balcony looks like now that I have washed the walls or scrubbed the walls, scrubbed the floor. I thought I recorded myself scrubbing the floor and putting out the floor tiles or the deck tiles from Ikea, but I don't know what I did with that footage or I forgot to put that clip in here. So you won't see that, um, but I am showing you all the length of the patio and what it looks like before I actually put the tiles, the deck tiles out and the furniture out. Um, so this is what I had to work with. It was pretty large, so it took quite a bit of floor tiles. Um, this is me putting together the day bed from Better Homes and Gardens. I've got some pillows from at home and a table from Target. Um, I'm also going to put out a vase with some pompous grass, which I will switch the pompous grass out later for something else. Um, and then I have some lanterns that I'm going to put out. Um, and I'm also going to put out a fire pit that I got from Amazon. And it is the one that this takes is the, the fire pellets pit. and not the liquid. Hey y'all, so I am about to start working on the balcony again. I got some more stuff as you can see. Uh, this is my little um, ancestor altar meditation area here, but right now I have all my stuff for the patio. So I got some new pillows. Um, I have two pillows out on the patio daybed already, but I wanted to get more, so I have two more. I have this citronella candle. Um, I think it was like $24, $26. And the only reason I paid that much for it is because I like the container it comes in. I don't know if you can see it. You'll see it when I put it out. But um, I make my own candles, so... I'm going to just reuse the container over and over again. So I was like, okay, I can go ahead and spend that money. Um, and I have this plant stand, which I have the candle in right now. Another plant stand, a Swiffer, a dry mop and wet mop because of the floor tiles that I have. Uh, one of the things I like about those is it's easy to clean them. So that's what the Swiffer is for. Um, I got some LED candles to go in the lanterns. Potting soil. In this box, I have some bulbs for, um, I think, two dahlias. And then I have, I guess you would call this vase fill. I don't know exactly what it's called. Um, it was $17.99 originally at Hobby Lobby, but I got them on sale for $6. I got two, and I only needed one, so one of them is already out in the vase outside. And this other one, I'll find somewhere to put it um, inside the house, I guess. So, just wanted to show y'all. Oh, and I got two chairs, two bistro chairs to go with the table, so... Um, I have a bistro table outside, and it's the same company. I think the chairs were $30 each. I didn't really want to pay $30 each for some folding chairs, but <laughs> patio furniture is expensive is what I am learning. And um, I had bought some pillows to go on the chairs, but they are way too small. So I need to take them back and get some bigger ones. So I'm going to go ahead and 
um, sweep out here because I got some plants. Um, it was really windy and rainy lately, so I have to sweep up the petals, get rid of these two containers of dead roses that did not last. <laughs> I will have to put some more flowers out here. And then I'm going to mop the tiles because I got dirt on them from the rocks that I put out. I also got more rocks to put out and um, get rid of the spider webs that keep appearing on the balcony railing. Um, I'm probably going to have to do a part two of this video for the blinds that my dad is going to put up for me so I can have some privacy. We decided to go with blinds instead of curtains because curtains can get mildew even the ones that say they are mildew resistant and i don't want to have to deal with that all right so i will see y'all at the end of the video so now you see me getting rid of the spider webs that are all over the balcony railing i had done this once before but the spiders are relentless and they keep coming back now i am mopping the deck tiles because it had been raining a lot and um there was some debris so i mopped the tiles and then i put out the chairs that match the table that i got from target the table was 55 dollars. the chairs were 30 and now you're gonna see me um planting or repotting some flowers it was way too hot out in texas today so i decided to do it inside um so that way i can show y'all me putting some of the flowers out uh, by this time i had already put out uh several other flowers but due to the rain and the weather in texas it's been raining like every couple of days I hadn't been able to film every single thing that I was doing so you'll see that there's some stuff done that I did not actually get on camera. Um, so there's already some flowers out there but I wanted to show y'all um, what I do to repot them. This is also a good way that I found to ground myself. I am a very spiritual person. My channel is mostly a spiritual channel so I know I've been needing to ground. That's one of the reasons why I actually redid the balcony in the first place because I need to spend more time outside and in nature. So me actually using my hands, putting my fingers in the soil instead of using like a little scooper thing um, was a way that I was able to ground myself. So now you see me putting out some more rocks. You didn't see this whole process, but this is just me kind of finishing it off. I'm putting out some larger pebbles um, that I got from... I forgot the name of the place, Big Lots. I got them from Big Lots. And the smaller pebbles you see, I got from Home Depot. Those are some of the flowers I already had outside. And um, so now you see the rest of the flowers that I just planted. My olive tree, uh, the fire pit. I decided to do that instead of a fire pit table because I'm the type of person that reads every single review. And I was reading the reviews on the fire pit tables. People were saying that they worked well and then they would stop working after a while. I didn't want to make that big of an investment for something that would stop working. So this fire pit table was, I think, maybe like $80. You can go on Amazon if I I remember to put the link and you can see videos of people using it so that's what prompted me to buy it i have some rosemary on the table for protection from negative energy spirits and entities if you are spiritual you know that rosemary can be used to ward off evil and i have some dahlia i think it's dahlias dahlia bulb, bulbs that i'm going to be planting um and this is what it's looking like so far now i decided not to go with the blinds because my balcony is so big that was going to end up costing me more money than i wanted to spend i've already spent about two thousand dollars since i was starting from scratch on this balcony so my dad is going to build me um a room divider for um my office space inside of my apartment and then he's going to make more for um the balcony so i can 
put them out when I want to have privacy. They're going to be foldable. So I may come back and do a part two so you all can see the video of um, me staining that and then putting it out here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But for now, this is what I have. Of course, I'm going to get rid of those uh, cleaning utensils that you see there. Um, I didn't cover the entire floor. I spent about $300 on these deck tiles, but that's only because my patio is so big. They were about $19 for nine square feet. If you have a smaller patio or deck, you won't have to buy as many packs that I had to buy, so you don't have to worry about spending that much. Um, the day bed was around three, like maybe 320 from Walmart. And, um, I think that's pretty much it. So this is what I have so far. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, and I'm going to come back with a part two. Bye.